for those students that are actually using the videos to learn Blender, ignore this video. For my students that are learning how to port Blender to Maya, after learning how to UVW unwrap things, watch this video. Okay. So what I'm going to do is port this over to another program. To do that, I'm going to export it as an OBJ. I'm going to use selection only because I'm, I'm selecting the actual building itself. And I'm going to make a directory called Maya port. I'm going to save this as an OBJ. Now in that directory is this. I have my building OBJ and the three maps, normal map, color map, and OCC. Now the OCC needs to be post-processed and you know how to do that if, you, if you're in my Maya class at this stage. But, uh, and the normal map also doesn't connect well, but let's, let's look at this. import my series uh, work in progress unit 2 my import and here's what I have so I'm going to import the OBJ I'll hit 6 on the keyboard and you'll see this window rendering editors hypershade Okay, now because it's an OBJ, uh, sometimes the textures actually come in. Most of the time they do not. But all you do here is you go like this. And click over to one side, then double click on it to get the thumbnail. Okay, porting over to this program, you just need a Lambert in Hypershade. Middle mouse button, click and drag this to color. Middle mouse button, click and drag this one to normal map, which is a bump map. And this is a special kind of bump map. If I wheel out with the mouse, I can click here and choose tangent space normals and to apply this whole huge hot mess to the mesh itself I can go back to materials middle mouse button click and drag the Lambert over to the building and there we go that's how I poured it over now again the OCC will be, it'll need a post processing for that to occur to show up on the mesh. You know what? I'm going to take care of that right now as far as post processing goes. I'll cover it later in Blender, but if you're watching this video, you're probably already just curious anyway, so I'll kill it with two birds with one stone. So, post processing is this, do this. It sounds so much more, right? Post-processing, what's that? Here's my color map. And here's my OCC. So if I hold control, I can open up both. My OCC, I'll right click on it, duplicate layer and move it over to my brick color map. I'm using Photoshop because, um, this is a different class, sorry. Drop this down and go to multiply. And that's how you post process. Save as, and I'll save that as under Maya port. I'll save it as TGA color map. 
save it and replace it. I want 24 bits, not 32. And then in Maya, I can go back to my color map in Hypershade. And I can hit Reload. And that will add the bake to it. Now, if it's too strong, if you feel this is too strong, what's nice about post-processing is this. I can choose a lighter variation. I can just save as, save it right back into that folder. Twenty-four bit. And then go back to Maya and hit reload. There we go. So that is post processing. And it saves you a map. You don't have to now worry about that map at all. Here's what high quality rendering looks like. And you can see the bricks are standing out quite nicely. All right, so that is porting over to Maya from Blender. Again, if you're watching this and you're super confused as a Blender student, don't worry about it. Uh, close out the video and just hum to yourself and say, I did not watch this video. Enjoy.